And when you think of Joe Rogan, though, this is what I love. The left looks at Joe Rogan and the left thinks Joe Rogan is a hard right guy. I mean, they're just, is, are they brain dead? Or they just do no research? What is it? This Joe Rogan was a Bernie Sanders guy, a socialized medicine guy. Joe Rogan is just a guy who has a podcast where he invites people who agree and disagree and has a discussion. And that's why the point here is so important. Listen to the clip and then we're gonna talk about why a discussion, a discussion is so dangerous to the modern left. Let's listen. They're like, I literally dated someone who didn't tell me he listened to Joe Rogan until three years in. He was like, this won't go well. But then three years that's in. That's like the worst catfish to me. I, yeah. And we did break up. <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah. No, no, no. Okay, so this next comment. So why? First of all, why didn't he tell you? Why? Was he afraid of you? That's bad too, guys. Don't be afraid of women. I can't with this. I can't with guys hiding like who they are because they're afraid the woman's not gonna like them or they hide stuff because they're like, well, she'll leave me. You gotta, you gotta be who you are and you gotta be honest about who you are, what you enjoy listening to, what kind of music you like, what kind of movies you like. And if she doesn't like you for that, she's not for you. She's not for you. By the way, same goes for the women. This, this advice goes both ways. But what is wrong with Joe Rogan that bothers her? She has in her mind, Joe Rogan is this right wing guy. No, Joe Rogan is just a guy that has a conversation. So you need to ask yourself, all the people that had a problem, particularly with Joe Rogan, when it came to the COVID-19 vaccine, and he was just having people on to talk about the vaccine, the pluses, the minuses, the mandates, he had doctors on who agreed, who disagreed. He had a discussion. He had a discussion. The modern left is not interested in a discussion. They're not. They are very used to owning all of corporate media. They own network television. They own a large part of cable news as well. <laughs> Pharma, frankly, owns it all. So you'd be surprised. You think there's a little diversity in there, but it's all under the same umbrella, honey. All of it. And they're used to that cohesion, right? So when there's somebody out there that's just independent, independent is terrifying to these people, independent, doing well, getting views, making money, and that that business model is just a real honest discussion with different viewpoints, the modern left panics. Why? Because their viewpoint doesn't uphold well against common sense. So they have to squash the other side so that they can shine as the only opinion. Because when you have debate, usually they lose. Common sense just, it is what it is. Common sense comes into play and they get very vulnerable. And I would ask if they're not afraid of debate, they should love a Joe Rogan. She should be dying to get on there. Oh, I wish he would book me. I could go and have a debate and discussion with him. I think it would be a great conversation. We could talk about feminism. We could talk about whatever. You would be, if you really wanted, if you were confident in what you were saying and you were passionate about what you were saying, you would crave that space where you could have a debate. I do all the time. I love it. I can't wait. My bookers know. I'm like, get somebody on here who doesn't see the world the way I do. Book them. Get them to come. Oftentimes we get told no. Can't imagine why the fear strikes but bottom line is the modern feminism the modern feminist left they just don't want discussion so and I, I we've invited by the way we sent out an invite to Drew to come on the show I would love to have her sit here and talk about these things challenge me challenge me I want to be challenged because I'm very comfortable with where I'm sitting politically socially I'm very comfortable and I, I would love to be challenged so please, open invitation. Feminist, if you're in the chat, you want to come on the show? Pitch yourself. Send me a message. I'm serious. I, why, why, like, why, I don't need to talk to, just, you know, Tyler doesn't disagree with me enough. Just saying. Tyler, do we have any more Super Chats before we close out for today? No. I, I do have a question yeah. um, for you. So a couple things. Supposedly, this Dr. Michaela Oakland person is a Harvard graduate, mm -hmm. which tells you everything you need to know about Harvard, right? <laughs> but I wonder... Does the left hate Joe Rogan because he's Joe Rogan? Or does the left hate Joe Rogan because of the people who listen to him? Remember that was the that was Trump's thing, right? Is they don't they don't hate me, they hate me because they hate you. If Trump was a Democrat, they'd love him, mm -hmm. right? And everybody loved Trump until he walked down the escalator and said I'm running as a, as a Republican, right? So I wonder because you're right, Joe Joe Rogan is a pro-abortion, he uh, pro-choice, he is uh, food stamps, he's big government, he's Bernie Sanders, he likes mm -hmm. to shoot and he likes to hunt, and that's 
it. So I, I, I really wonder how much of it is because they hate Joe Rogan or they hate his audience. Because his audience, I would imagine, is broadly right wing, if you will. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and that's interesting too. Why are, if, if he is a socialized medicine guy and a Bernie guy and he's pro-abortion and all that, why is his audience right leaning? Well, why? Because he's actually having a forum for discussion and those people who generally align with him politically, they don't want a discussion. Right. They want just a parrot. They, and they're very uncomfortable with the fact that he's offering a forum. I think people don't like, Trump was a little bit different. I think people thought Trump was going to come into power and he was going to be more less of a right-wing leader in terms of policy. When he started putting things out policy-wise, I think he scared the crap out of them and they were like, oh, I need to hate this guy. I think with Joe Rogan, I think the most intimidating thing about him is that he's just having a conversation. And he's giving people who see the world differently a place that's very high profile, to share their thoughts and I think it's persuading people yeah it's persuading people I think people even who are more centrist who listen to the show are finding themselves asking different types of questions I think that the goal really is to decrease the number of free thinking people in society at all costs and increase the number of people who are only comfortable in their bubble and their safe space and anyone who threatens that or offers a different route and a conversation is going to be a problem If you want to watch the full episode, you're going to click right here. And if you want to ask me a question one-on-one, you want to do a one-on-one FaceTime with a group of your friends, whatever you want, you need to download Minect right now. Click right here and let's get talking. 